What's up, y'all? I got my things recording on here. I'm still trying to get away, have the audio and shit synced up, but for now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play it out loud. Then I'm gonna just use the audio from the camera that picks up, and I think that's how we gonna do it. So I just gotta make sure this is loud so it can pick up on camera. And hopefully there's like no big delay. Cause if there's a big delay, then we obviously see that in the editing stage. But um, yeah. We finna be watching how to, not how to, not, we not finna be watching how to predator. We finna be watching to catch a predator. And, uh, I've been, I've been non-stop watching this lately. If you look at me, my bootleg, uh, mullet, you know, hair kind of lengthy. You know, I combed one piece out, it go down to my neck, you know, almost shoulder length. You already know how it is. Nah, but we finna be watching to catch a predator. It's a quick five minute episode. I need a shit. But, uh, we finna get right into this, man. I just saw a truck make a quick turn into here. This could be our boy coming right there. It's day three of our undercover investigation here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Population 50,000. Our first guest arrives at noon, right on time. 27-year-old Jeremy Todd West pulls in the driveway, and our decoy invites him in. Hey. These niggas be walking okay, in this setup, bro. Like, some of them didn't really be walking into this. Calling shit, himself Bandit 8077, he starts chatting online yeah, with a I'm decoy a posing as yeah. a 13-year-old girl. After only about 20 minutes, he says he'd like to meet. Two days later, he asks her this. Are you wanting sex when we meet? Um, I don't know. I don't even know you. If we do, would you want to do it there or go somewhere and do it? The chat goes on for almost a month. It looks like a blossoming romance. Two weeks into their chat, he tells her, I would most likely want you to be my future wife. She tells him she wants to finish high school first. A jarring reminder that 13, this is a bro. chat between a 27-year-old man and a girl who says she's in 8th grade. Two Boy. days before he's supposed to meet the girl, Boy, he starts to, high to school? get worried. But one thing that keeps running through my mind is if I get caught, i seen this Dateline thing where they are busting guys with cops trying to have sex with young kids. Oh, you think that's me? No, but it just scares me though. <laughs> Apparently, oh. it doesn't scare him enough. Bandit 8077, a public works employee from Tennessee, makes himself at home. Hey, he's charging noise. <laughs> so how's it going? So far, so good. That's good. Stay here. Well, I'll go give you a hug. Well, let's talk first. Why don't you sit down before you give any hugs here, and we're going to have a little chat. It's going to be funny this hand. You're like, oh. No, well, it's just go and hang out be friends. And there's no friends who are your age on the internet? Yeah. Yeah? So why can't you talk to them? No, I I know what you're doing. Don't go there, please. I know what you're doing. You talk about taking her out to buy sexy bras and panties and thongs. Okay. I had a feeling this was it. You had a feeling what was it? This was a setup. We would be kissing in my hands okay. to caress your sexy body. I, I made a mistake. I made a horrible mistake. Bro, I wouldn't smart. go to sleep with her. I promise I wouldn't. I talked about it, I wouldn't go to do it. Remember, he's been talking online about having sex with a 13-year-old for almost a month. I was wrong. Then why did you do it, Don? Explain it. Would I just wait my mind? I had a feeling something was wrong. Man, had a week Did you ever watch Dateline? I watched it once. Did you ever think you'd actually be on to catch a predator? Well, Todd, there's something I gotta tell you. I'm on it. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Dude, don't. You can walk right out the door you came in. Leave, leave me. Leave him. And just like he's seen on TV, law enforcement is outside waiting to arrest him. Sheriff's office, come on down. Come on down. Straight down the hands up. Get on your face. Get on your face right now. Hands out. From behind your back. But y'all should have seen how they did this one dude. One dude came out. He's taken to the local police station, and when questioned by an agent from the Kentucky Bureau of Investigation, he sticks to his story. Now, when we will do anything more than just be friends, that was it. He tells the officer he's worried about being on Dateline. You're probably going to appear on their show at some time. And part of the reason is they use that as a deterrent for other people to not get themselves in this situation. Well, I should have just stayed away. He's coming. 
this part, there's this like this voice actor that goes over like their chats. This part would be funny. Unless if they're not gonna do it. Oh no, I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. They they didn't do it this one. But um some of the channels that like repost the Tick Catch a Predator, they have like the whole update to like 2020 of like where's this person at and all of that and like any other cons they had. It's pretty dope. Uh, we'll probably watch another one, but uh, right now I'm going to call it quits for this video. Thank you for coming back to another video. we back on our bullshit.